Yeah, that's a day I'll never forget. Um, all the guys were so excited, and it was a team that was really heavily laden with seniors, and we were ready. And we played uh, an excellent game. The Loyola scored two goals in the first minute of the game. One was a bounce of a crossbar that went the other way. And then we played them even for the rest of the game. We just had tons of talent. Um, unfortunately, we fell short. Uh, we lost to Loyola by two goals. Um, but we had a lot of chances and uh, definitely helped us grow for the next year coming with losing all the seniors and allowed for some of the younger players to step up. A 6-4 game is really rare in lacrosse, really low scoring, but it was two amazing defenses. And at the end, we lost, but we left it all on the field, and there were no regrets, knowing that we had squeezed everything we had out of ourselves and our team. That game could have gone either way. We played it ten times, we win five times, they win five times, but um, just pride and amazing accomplishment and an amazing group of kids. Lake Forest always has talent, but this year we've known that our top end talent is the greatest in the state. No one, no team has ever had six Division I recruits in Illinois that I'm aware of. So, you know, we're expected to do big things. We kind of have a team policy not to talk about the future and just go game by game. But, um, you know, it's hard not to think about that with so much talent. We know that if we play and execute at our best, there isn't a team that can stop us. The only team that can stop us is the one in the mirror. This is a season about achieving our potential when you achieve the potential, like, it'll all come together. So we try to really avoid um, the expectations for the team, but it does have an impact like, in our minds. We all, we all are thinking about it. And the one that stung the most, but we needed to hear, was this idea of image over effort. That a coach from a rival school said, sometimes that's been the reputation of Lake Forest, image over effort. And that's been our sort of mantra all year, is are we going to produce? And so therefore, can we keep our focus on the day to day and not get caught up in the headlines and who's going where and who's doing what, but can we become the best team we're capable of? And that's what our true success needs to be about. Again, not the goal scored or given up, but how did we play that day? Did we put the effort in to become the players we can be? They believe, they have the confidence that they should be there in the last game at the end of the season. But they are not too high or not too low. This is work, and it's time to go to work. We knew we hadn't been playing our best lacrosse, but it was a chance for us to finally prove what we were capable of. So focused um, and excited, but also we'd had some really good tests the, the couple games before where we were really challenged in games where we didn't need to be. And so I think if those had been blowouts the week before, we wouldn't have been as focused as we were. Our team started out with a lot of energy and enthusiasm, um, maybe almost a little too much energy. People were um, focused on our, our offensive and defensive goals, but then um, 
And the defense, it was working, but a, a tipped pass went to um, a Loyola player and a broken situation led to their first goal. And their second goal was scored in a man up situation. And then there were a series of small mental errors, um, errors of execution, of just not being guarding the proper person at the proper time um, that led to a, you know, several goals in a row for Loyola. And the entire time, the team felt like, we have the talent, we can dig back out of this, we know that we can do this. Um, and so it was no surprise when in the third quarter, we started scoring our goals back. And we said, we realized athlete for athlete, Loyola couldn't compete with us. It was just dealing with what was on the scoreboard <laughs> and uh, digging back out of that hole. And I, I think the entire team felt that we just ran out of game. In 13 seasons of coaching high school lacrosse, I've never enjoyed coaching a team. That every day going out to practice was, was fun. And I tried to look back for mistakes or things I regretted throughout the season, things I wish I would have done differently. I said, maybe I could have kept them out of practice longer. Maybe I could have done this or that. But I don't have any regrets that sometimes you just don't execute at season's end. And as I said, that was a failure. I had the most talented team in the state and we failed to win the state championship. But I, I still couldn't find anything to regret. That failure is feedback. It is not anything to hide from or be ashamed of. It's something to say, where can I go from here? I'm gonna miss so many of these guys. I had the opportunity to coach, be an assistant coach at the All-Star game last night and see David Glenn and Lucas Munoz and Mick Wright and Tyler Vandenberg and be with them just one more time on the sideline. And that is an opportunity that I will miss because they're just such amazing players and special people. And I mean, the joy that they have in one another. So that's what I'll think of. I'll, I'll this team, Tyler and Lucas and my captains, they'll be in my mind when I think of this team. Not, it won't be disappointment, it will be the smile of Danny Lowe and other people like that, that's what I'll be thinking about.